A family of mice were being chased by a cat. The scared mice were cornered when the father mouse turned around and barked, Ruff! 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 The surprised cat ran away. When one of the young mice said, Nice going, Dad, the father mouse replied, You see, son, it pays to be bilingual. A student with a parrot on his shoulder leaves a lecture theater. Another student follows him. He stops him and says, I'm sorry to bother you, but I have to say, I was astonished by your parrot's remarkable reaction to the lecture on ancient history. He seemed frightened at the frightening parts, sad at the depressing parts, fascinated at the interesting parts, and amused at the funny parts. I could have sworn I even heard it laugh. I have to say, I was amazed. Don't you find it surprising? Yes, he replies. I was very surprised. He hated the class. A truck driver is driving a truckload of penguins to the zoo in the next town when his truck breaks down. While he's working on the truck, another truck driver stops and asks if he needs help. The first truck driver says, If I gave you $100, would you take these penguins to the zoo? The second trucker agrees to do it. Hours later, the truck driver is still trying to fix his truck when the second truck driver drives past with all of the penguins still in his truck. The puzzled first truck driver says, Didn't you take them to the zoo? The second truck driver says, Yes, we went to the zoo, and there was money left over. So now we're going to a restaurant. A grasshopper, a snail, and a centipede are relaxing in the grasshopper's house when they realize that they are getting hungry. They decide that one of them should go out for a pizza. The snail says, I'd go, but I'm kind of slow. The grasshopper says, I don't mind going, but my hopping will shake the pizza and mess it up. So they decide to send the centipede. The snail and grasshopper wait and wait. The longer they wait, the hungrier they get. Finally, when an hour passes and the centipede still hasn't returned, the irritated snail and grasshopper decide to go look for him. They get as far as the front door where they find the centipede sitting there putting on his shoes. Hi, how are you doing? Oh, I don't know. To tell you the truth, I'm feeling a bit down. I think the weather is getting to me. I'm tired of all this rain. You know what you need to cheer you up? A few good laughs. I've got a couple of killer jokes for you. I don't know, Charlie. I'm not a big fan of jokes. Just listen. Here's a good one. A cowboy rides into town on Sunday, stays for three days, and leaves on Sunday. How is this possible? I don't know. How? Because his horse's name is Sunday. Well, what's the matter? Don't you get it? Yeah, I get it. Though it didn't exactly blow me away. How about this one? Why is six afraid of seven? Because seven, eight, nine. Get it? Eight? Like the number eight? Yeah, I get it. I just don't think it's funny. But I do feel better. If you didn't think they were funny, why do you feel better? Because you're trying to cheer me up. You're a good friend, Charlie. Even if you do tell terrible jokes. No, I don't. Hey, did you hear the one about... Until recently... It was believed that laughter was unique to humans. However, 
Recent research has found that some animals make laughter-like sounds in certain situations. For example, researchers have found that when chimpanzees chase after and play with each other, they get excited and make a special kind of panting sound. This panting sound is not unlike the ha-ha-ha made by humans when they laugh, but the chimpanzee version sounds more like grunting. Researchers have also found that laughter reduces stress levels in chimpanzees. It is interesting to note that laughter has a similar effect on other chimpanzees as human laughter has on other people. Just as the sound of human laughter relieves stress in people, one researcher found that when chimpanzees hear recordings of other chimpanzees making the laughter sound, it makes them a lot happier and more playful. The truth is that most mammals appear to make a special sound when they are amused or happy. Certain kinds of parrots and minor birds imitate human laughter with amazing precision. It was initially thought that this type of laughter was plain mimicry and did not indicate that the birds were amused or excited about something. However, incidents with minor birds questioned this assumption. A particular minor bird that was observed used human laughter to respond to different stimuli. When people that he liked entered the room, he would greet them and laugh softly. On other occasions, he would laugh out loud. Finally, and this was key, he would chuckle when he played a trick on an unsuspecting visitor or passerby. For example, he would cry out, pick up your keys, to a passerby. The person would usually walk on without reacting, so he would whistle and shout, hey, pick up your keys, your keys the person would stop and start looking around for his keys, at which point the minor bird would start chuckling. Perhaps the most surprising discovery about animal laughter involves rats. Researchers discovered that when rats play with each other or are tickled by humans, the rats make chirping sounds that are above the range of human hearing. It was also discovered that the area of a rat's brain that lights up when it chirps is the same area of the human brain that lights up when a human is amused. So the rat's chirping sound is clearly associated with positive emotional feelings. Interestingly, the more the rats were tickled by researchers, the more they become bonded to humans and the more they would seek to be tickled. Some researchers speculate that laughter may be a trait shared by all mammals. However, more research is needed before such a conclusion can be reached. 1. Until recently, it was believed that laughter was unique to humans. 2. The sound of human laughter has been found to relieve stress. 3. A particular bird that was observed used human laughter. 4. It was discovered that this area of a rat's brain lights up when it is tickled. 5. However, more research is needed before such a conclusion can be reached. 'Laughter really is the best medicine. Are you feeling run down, stressed? Do you get sick easily? The solution to your problems may be surprisingly simple. Try laughing. Countless research studies have shown the amazing number of ways that laughter positively impacts both our mind and body. 
laughter has an immediate beneficial effect on our mood and sense of well-being. Generally speaking, the harder you laugh, the better you feel. But why is this? Research has found that laughter offers some of the same benefits as exercise. When you laugh, that laughter stretches, tones, and strengthens muscles in your face and body. It increases your heart rate and causes you to breathe faster, which increases oxygen levels in your body. According to William F. Fry, M.D., Associate Professor of Clinical Psychiatry at Stanford University, laughing 100 to 200 times per day is the cardiovascular equivalent of rowing for 10 minutes. One study even found that laughter can help people lose weight. Researchers discovered that laughing out loud for 10 to 15 minutes a day can burn up to 50 calories. However, this certainly doesn't mean you should give up a visit to the gym for a hearty laugh. At the rate of 200 calories per hour, it would take over 17 hours of nonstop laughter to lose a single pound, 450 grams. People who laugh often have other physical advantages as well. They tend to have lower blood pressure and lower stress levels. They tend to get sick less often because laughter has been shown to increase infection-fighting antibodies. Laughter has also been found to help fight disease and to help people recover from illness. This has led many hospitals to create programs designed to make patients laugh. For example, it is quite common to see a red-nosed clown joking with young patients in the pediatric ward. Hundreds of hospitals also provide patients with humor cards, loaded with humorous cartoons, DVDs, comic books, and funny props. Laughter has also been found to make people alert, stimulate the brain, and enhance learning. It also helps people to be more productive, to communicate more effectively, to sleep more soundly, and to form friendships more easily. In the mid-1990s, a doctor from India was struck by these benefits and brainstormed a way to bring more laughter into his patients' lives. The doctor, Madan Kataria, gathered a group of people together in a local park to practice laughing as part of a laughter club. During the club meetings, Kataria would prompt members to laugh in a variety of ways. For example, he would tell them to greet one another with a laugh or to laugh like a lion. Although Kataria discovered that fake laughter produces the same health benefits as genuine laughter, he was gratified to find that it usually didn't take long for fake laughter to turn into real laughter. This idea of laughter clubs has been extremely successful. There are now more than 8,000 laughter clubs in 60 different countries. It seems laughter is indeed infectious. Now that you know the health benefits of laughter, think about ways you could bring more laughter into your life. Whether you go to comedy clubs, joke with a friend, or watch more comedies, your mind and body will soon be enjoying the many benefits of a good laugh. A sitcom is a situation comedy without an ending. It consists of episodes, but the situation goes on. The television sitcom was born in the 1940s and 1950s. It had originally existed as a radio show that listeners would tune into every week to spend some time with familiar characters they grew to know and liked. When television arrived in the late 1940s, shows were filmed in front of a live studio audience with three cameras recording everything for later editing. In the 60s, sitcoms combined fantasy with comedy and used a laugh track instead of a live studio audience. In the 70s, social issues were included, but in the 80s there was a return to the original family concept, the most important success factor behind sitcoms. Nowadays, shows are filmed with a single camera, on location or on studio sets, with no laugh track or live audience.